we thought that we are honorable and honest people. Why are people changing their minds and playing ping pong games with us? And that is what our members are saying that no. This time around. We, you fooled me once, shame on me. Fooled me twice. No, fooled me once, shame on you. Fooled me twice, shame on me. We are not ready to be fooled a second time. Okay. Okay, I'll come to you. Dr. Maitende Chalo, this is familiar ground for you. You have defended the doctors before. Why is it that we can't break this helmet right now? Is it the other side that is not sitting ground? What is going on? Yeah, thank you very much, uh, Ken. And uh, thank you for even uh, starting us off with a clip of me, uh, you know. Uh, speaking about the situation as it was at that time. Mm -hmm. That was, was 2013? Uh, yeah, that was about 11 years ago. Yes, 2013. Yeah, yes. 2013. Mm -hmm. And uh, what we were fighting for at that point was uh, an opportunity uh, to be able to sit down and uh, discuss, uh, which was a, a bit difficult at that point because uh, as uh, uh, leaders of a young union which we had just established, we were finding it very difficult to sit with the government so that we can discuss. And we were just in the thick of things, trying to establish a collective bargaining environment where we can be able to discuss, you know, with the respect across board and be able to work together towards achieving our common objectives. Mm -hmm. uh, but uh, 11 years down the line, we are now in a situation that really puzzles me because uh, at this point, uh, we have been able to really mature in uh, being able to have these discussions around our labor relations. As K because the union? Uh, especially, on, you know now I'm in government, government I'm the yes. Deputy Director General yes. for Health. Yes. And uh, I have also contributed a lot uh, to the current situation where we are very receptive uh, as opposed to 2013 when we would literally be frog marched out of uh, the Ministry of Health. Uh, right now, our doors are open. We have uh, very frequent meetings with the trade union uh, leaders so that we can be able to advance the discussions around, uh, ar around uh, collective bargaining. Now, the current stalemate is what is really worrying me because uh, now we are just about to hit a month, which I really hope we won't. We are, I think, at about uh, day 28 of uh, a doctor's strike in the country. Now, this is a catastrophe because uh, generally we are not supposed to have a doctor strike at all. Uh, and even if it happens, then we should be able to resolve it very fast. However, uh, now that I am sitting on the government side, I've found it very difficult to understand why we are not able to engage. Mm -hmm. uh, my senior, Dr. Nikal, here has even accused the government of walking out of uh, uh, yes. collective bargaining uh, And not process. going to the table sometimes, he didn't say that. Yeah, but uh, I would like that to be substantiated because now I am deep into the negotiations mm -hmm. uh, as one of the key uh, participants from the executive side and uh, I have not seen a situation where we You've not have walked been... out of a meeting? No. Have they walked out of any and, meeting? Uh, just, Let me tell you. Yeah, no, no, just, yes, that, yes, just yes. answer one question, yes. then I go back they to you. They have walked out They've of the meeting out. on live oh. camera. Okay, <laughs> they've walked out of the meeting. I was in that meeting that we purportedly <laughs> walked out, yes. and I can tell you that we didn't walk out. Yes. And that is why mm -hmm. I can tell you mm -hmm. that uh, I think there is a problem. We should not really be doing this. You know, as we continue uh, trading barbs and uh, trying to, you know, give perceptions and whatnot and, uh, you know, argue, there are people who are dying out mm -hmm. there, you know? Mm -hmm. And uh, me, that's what worries me a lot. There are people who are losing their mothers, there are people who are becoming orphans mm -hmm. and so on. We are all very reasonable people, yeah? We all work together very closely. The environment we have created is enabling for us to be able to discuss mm -hmm. even as we give services to the people. Why can't we just be able to take advantage of that environment so that we can now be able to uh, work around the issues mm -hmm. even as uh, people continue getting services? Let me ask you, yeah? did you care about what you care about in 2013? Absolutely. What we wanted to do is to be able to address the issues that were, were facing the, the doctors. Now, let me tell you something, Ken. Yeah? In 2013, we were struggling to get a collective bargaining arrangement. I managed to sign, I was actually the Secretary General of the yeah. KMPDU by then. Yes. I signed a, a, a collective bargaining arrangement with the government 
collective bargaining agreement without uh, going on strike. And nobody has ever asked me, how did you manage to do it? Okay. The interns who are the bone of contention in this strike, if you look at that collective bargaining agreement, if it would have been implemented to the letter, would be earning over half a million. Right now. Yeah. But it wasn't. Are you admitting it wasn't uh, implemented? No, I'm just that? telling you yes. that collective bargaining arrangements mm -hmm. are about seduction. Okay. And nobody has ever asked me, how did you How manage did you do to it? do this? We will ask you that question. You know? We will ask you no, that I question. No, I will not tell you because uh, <laughs> why, it why cannot we... be said on, uh, you know, in an arrangement like this one. We have to sit and then we discuss so that I can be able to uh, uh -huh. give that No, but that, you can, you can, you uh, can tell them as an advice that yeah. uh, uh, this is what we did then. It is about seduction. Okay. Collective bargaining agreements are not a one-sided document. Mm -hmm. Collective bargaining agreements are about two sides coming together mm -hmm. so that we can be able to see what is one side benefiting and, and what is the other side the benefiting. The gentleman will complain that I've given you a lot of time. I know they're itching to speak, <laughs> but let me come to you. Why are you accusing the government of walking away? Yet clearly, they have hosted meetings, you have attended the meetings, you can't simply agree on the matters. Is this one of the issues or is something